Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the best AI writer for human quality, human feeling blog posts. So we're going to put different AIs to the battle, to the test to see whether Claude Sonnet, ChatGPT, or Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg's new AI, Llama. Who's the best AI and how can you use them to increase your SEO traffic, make your website better, and just improve your overall content marketing by leveraging these powerful tools, of course, with some human touch into all of it. We'll go through briefly our process on how we humanize this content, but let's jump in. So what we've got here is an amazing website by Zimmerman, Matt Zimmerman, a great SEO himself and founder of ZimWriter, which is one of those AI writers. But the main thing I wanna investigate here is the difference between Llama ChatGPT or ChatGPT 4.0, its new is model, as well as Claude Sonnet. Now Claude is a underdog in the AI space, but it's really good. And Llama, which is Facebook's new AI, it's open source, and it might just be the best AI writer in 2024. So we got a lot to cover here. Now, Matt created these very cool uh, website that shows different AI models and you know how they perform for the same waters. So for this test, I'll go through how it's organized, which is essentially you have one blog title and you have the same outline for that blog title. And then you have each AI writing their own piece for each subheader. So it's really kind of cool. So if we look at like the best time to buy gold, we see they're all using the same title. And more so than that, they're all using the same headings. So it's all understanding gold market mentals, emotions versus smart gold investing, regular gold investment strategy, using technical analysis, and so on. And so each AI is given each subheader and then told to write a little piece of content for it so that we can review it kind of within as low variability as we can. And I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. You can check out the website AI Blog Post Writer to get a deeper look at each one of these articles. But just looking at the paragraph, we can see just how incredible Llama is. And I'm very surprised because it's Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook's been kind of behind in the AI game, but wow, have they made some progress. So if we look at Claude first, or actually let's start with ChatGPT because that's what most of you guys are probably familiar. So on buying gold, it says to buy gold for a better future, target the months of January, March, and late April when prices are historically low. Make decisions based on market trends rather than emotions. Consider adopting a dollar cost averaging strategy to manage volatility. Use technical analysis tools like moving averages in RSI to pinpoint buying opportunities. Treat it as a hedge against economic downturn. And so I like this, it's kind of describing an overview of the article. Um, and then if we go to Llama, we have you can secure a brighter financial future by timing your gold investment strategically, capitalizing on seasonal trends and economic indicators that signal ideal buying opportunities. Typically, gold prices raise from late August through December, making these months a good time to invest. January and March are also full of favorable months to buy, as they often see significant price gains. By understanding market fluctuations and making informed decisions, you can maximize your So if we go through here and kind of check and this all looks compared to ChatGPT, we can really get a good idea of how they sound. Just as human, you know, kind of taking SEO out of the question is just how good are these in terms of writing? How real do they sound as people? And if we look at different topics, we can see how to get more backlinks. If we look at llamas, it's pretty good. It says to get more backlinks, you'll need to do more than just produce great content. We'll need a strategic approach. Start by building relationships with website owners through comments, social media, and persons emails, which can lead to guest posts and collaborations. Also use linkable assets, all these different things. We look at GPT, it says to get more backlinks, start by building genuine re relationships with website owners through thoughtful comments and personalized outreach. Create compelling, shareable content like infographics and data-driven studies. Leverage tools like Haro to connect with journalists and engage in strategic outreach to influencers and resource page owners. So. I would say in this case, I really like llamas better. And so this is where I really want you guys to start to experiment with some of these different AI writers and kind of feel it out. Now, I will say, regardless of whether you use ChatGPT Claude or the new llama, you want to be careful that you are editing this content 
with human oversight. So we have a content manager. She goes through, her name is Michelle, and really edits these down. She reads every piece. She understands what the client's website is about or what your website is about and really understands how to create better content. On top of that, uh, we actually don't use writers. Zim Writer is my favorite out of the writers and I use that for uh, some projects. So I definitely think you should check it out. But we don't really use too many writers. We normally are directly uh, going back and forth with the AI and talking to it and asking like, hey, you know, we want to write this paragraph and then editing each section with AI. So being, you know, saying, hey, can you make that a little bit more concise? Can you make it different? Can you do this or that? And sometimes we'll even take the transcripts from YouTube videos and kind of give it some context with things of that nature. So you've got all kinds of cool ways you can use AI for SEO in 2024, but you need to make sure that you're human editing it, you're reviewing it, you're revising it, all of that good stuff, making sure that it's actually good for a human to read. AI is getting so powerful, as you can see from this AI blog post writer.com, where you can look through all the articles, there is a lot of good content that can be created with AI, but you really need to look at it and really take charge of the content, make sure that it looks good, reads good, and makes sense. So as long as you're doing that, you can use AI and you can have some good results with it. So thank you so much for watching. If you got anything out of this, let me know. Check out AI Blog Post Writer, check out all of this stuff I'm talking about and see, you know, what you guys think. Leave a like if you gained any value and let me know how you guys liked the video. Thank you.